Uh, nervous about the new, uh, they're taking away quite a bit and adding a little. They are. And, like, pruning always is going to be a little nerve-wracking. Like, so, so, and, I, and I've made this point before. Pruning is a, it goes against the philosophy of what MMOs do, right? MMOs are designed for character progression where you show up at level one, you're kind of dog shit. Uh, okay, hold up. You kind of dog shit and you work your way up to being like a god, right? And pruning is going the wrong way on that that trend, which doesn't always feel good. I should have just taken the I should have just taken suppressant fire, and I should have taken uh, the other set bonus. And now here I am with my dick in my hands against this same pre made for the seventeenth time in a row. God damn it! I was saying something about uh, pruning. Ah, yes. Uh, and so it kind of goes against the philosophy of what a of what MMOs are supposed to feel like, right? And so like I'm not worried that they're gonna do it wrong, because I I think they'll do a good job of balancing it out and and pruning down the abilities and making things a little more even, so that way there's not you know uh, there's not one supremely dominant class. Because what they've done in the past is whenever they've come across a problem and they're like, oh, uh, marksman snipers aren't doing too good, let's give them a DCD, right? That's been their solution for a lot of this stuff, and it's it's not quite as it's 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 using a a hammer to solve a problem instead of using like a fine tooth comb, right? So I I don't doubt that they're going to do a decent job of like fixing that issue. I'm worried that it's going to feel bad, and by I feel bad, I mean like does it feel like you're playing a gimped class of the of the tune you used to know and love? Right? Do I, am I gonna show up into a war zone? And even though everyone else is weaker, am I gonna feel like my class is underperforming? Even if it's performing perfectly adequately for what everyone else is is experiencing, is it gonna feel bad? Because there's there's not a lot you can do to say you know it, it shouldn't feel bad. You you can't you can't math someone into feeling good about the way their class is behaving. If it just doesn't feel fun to play. That is what ner is what's making me a little bit nervous. Now, I can't give that feedback of like it, it's not going to feel good to play the PvP because we don't have all the PvP classes back, or we don't have all the, the specs in the game back. So it, it's it's really hard to tell. Like, hey, is this actually good? Is this, is this actually bad, etc. Um, from what I've heard, and I don't play a lot on the PTS. I'll, I'll dabble once in a while. From what I've heard, it. it it plays pretty much the same in terms of like offensively, uh, which is good. I think that the the uh, the current system for like doing damage, except for like Carnage Marauders, I think is a little bit wonky. I feel like the systems they have in place for actually like your rotation and doing damage is actually, is actually really good. They're trying they're trying to prune down DCDs, and that's kind of what I've heard is like it's it's all DCD pruning. It's not like uh, offensive ability pruning, which is good to hear because like when when WoW did their big prune in BFA. It was all defensive. It was it was all I mean, it was it was like half defensive and half offensive. And so you were really playing a version of your class that was significantly weaker and and much more simple to play because they were chasing like oh I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. They were chasing the new player and they weren't chasing like the the veterans, right? I'm hoping that by not pruning the defensive abilities as much, I'm so fucked here. Yep, by not pruning the offensive abilities, it's gonna feel a little bit better than that prune did. But I can't say without you know seeing it saying 44 24 7 rescue that'd be interesting it'd be very interesting hoth arena i cath arena ooh perhaps perhaps uchi what's up dude what do you think about min maxing monster between power and mastery and body by mark I, I get your 10k power okay i'm this is a dumb decision this is a very bad idea we're gonna come here we're just gonna suppress a fire and then we're gonna die okay I'm gonna sit here, suppressive fire, and just spam suppressive fire. Yep, good, good, good. Ha ha, they'll never catch me here. Ha ha, they'll never catch me here. Ha ha. <laughs> they might still catch me here. Hold up, is there a healer anywhere? No, Laura Croft, don't do this to me! Oh, damn. We almost got away with that. Almost got away with that. Yeah, it'll be interesting. What's up, Uchu? How are you doing, dude? Uh, yeah. I have, like, uh, 10k power and then the stack the rest into to mastery. I think it's fun. Yeah, old school. Okay, we gotta get the fuck out of here. This is this is where hopes and dreams kind of die. We got both pawns, though. Hold up. 
little little casual snipe action on that boy. Hello. Yeet. Adios. Okay, we gotta buy our, our guy time here. No, we're not. We're not gonna get there. I broke a carbonize. What about it? Yeah, I broke a carbonize. Ever heard of it? Yeah, uh, that's that's all I got for you, bud. You're on your own. If that guy can live for two more seconds, we get that pylon back. Did he get it? Did he get it? No, he didn't get it. That guy's going to cap with one second left. Yep, feels bad. Do I get your stuff? Go hope students go well. Continue to have a hack community. See you soon. All right, later, dude. You take care now. Enjoy. Okay, we are we got bodied real hard here. Just sit here and uh, suppress a fire everyone and throw down a little div so that everyone is a little alive a little bit longer. Okay, ow. Ow, sir. Hmm. I really wish I had taken the uh, the other set bonus here. The energy management would just be so much better and make my life a lot easier. But then again, we, we had that suppress or the uh, evasion shenanigans going on, so. Ooh. He's in trouble, but now he has an energy shield up. Who's bad when a pre-made is only DPS farm and still winning objective? Yeah, they're they're doing a good job of like it's possible to DPS farm and play objectives, especially in like a hypergate. So hypergate, you can really if you have the DPS for it, you literally just hold W into their pylon and then you just win the game. Uh, it's one of the it's one of the game modes that really rewards you for numbers farming. Well, and you get you straight up get points for it. So, oh wow, that hurt a lot. Oh boy, we gotta. All right, we're gonna bait them back this way. Okay, we're gonna bait them into our own spawn. Yeah, come on, follow us. Chase the birdie. Chase the birdie. We allocate away. Thank you very much. We gotta go. Go 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 go. No 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 no, sir. You're gonna get a flashbang. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if this is gonna go anywhere. I'm just fucked. Yep. Sorry. Get to our pylon, boys. Get to our pylon. Oh, this guy is, is turbo fucked. He's not getting away with this. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Yeah, we're just... Okay, we're, at this point, we're just numbers farming. Fuck it. Which class be for a sniper race for solos? Uh, uh, Virulence is an interesting option. I think that the... Um, I think that Marksman is probably the easiest option because you just have roll uh, ambush. So like watch watch this guy right. So he's gonna roll, and then we're gonna ambush, and then like chunk away a good a good piece of his health bar there. Granted, he had some DCDs rolling, so not quite as much. Um, we're virulent. It can be a lot of like chippy damage, which can be a little unfortunate. But okay, we got both pylons here because that guy can that guy hold him off? We're gonna spend here and see if we can't get over here and help these boys. There we go. That was worth a spend in my opinion. Um, there's something to be said for virulence, but I, I don't, I wouldn't recommend it. It can be very fluff damage. Good for me, you might be able to, uh, win you guys also getting it. True. My favorite thing in this game was you're new to ranked and not as PvP as a whole, just in race and non-existent. You get toxic guy doesn't give advice for improvements. Yeah. So if you're new to ranked, honestly, the best words you can say, and I, and I recommend this for all content. If you're getting into like master mode flashpoints or like, uh, hard mode ops, just say like, Hey, look, I, this is my first time here. Uh, patience, por favor, and if there's any tips you have or anything I should know, uh, let me know. I just that kind of sets the tone. It's it's when you it's when you show up and then like halfway through you're like, oh, this is my first match, uh, and they like you've wiped three times in the same boss. That's when people can get a little testy. Um, so that's if if you're just getting into ranked, that's what I recommend. It's just like, hey, it's it's one of, it's on my first ranks, uh, some of my first ranked games. Is there anything I should know about going against this comp, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, that would be my recommendation. It's a, it's not a foolproof plan. I mean, people are assholes, uh, but you know what we do to assholes uh, too. Uh, we fuck them. That's what we do to assholes. Throw down a little div action. Okay, no. All of them are at ours, boys. Help. 
Okay, we have people are slowly trickling in. They're new to ranking anybody's needed. Q guys, you can get a backfill and people you stop throwing my games. Tell him to fuck off, dude. Tell that man to fuck off. In a, in a very polite and respectful manner. Tell him tell that man to fuck off. If people are that concerned about their ELO, and I mean like I get it. You wanna you they want the rewards, whatever. If they can't afford to lose one game in their ELO, they're probably not gonna get their rank anyway. So Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there's there's nothing else we got back here. We're kind of fucked. Can we get Okay, they're running orbs though. That, our team is actually kind of being smart here. They're running orbs and and not trying to defend the pylon. So that way, if we we might actually be able to get to six hundred here, without it. Yeah, dude. My 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 one th my thirteen points of uh. Okay, do not feed into that. Do not feed into that. Don't feed. Don't feed. Yeah, if if they can't stand to lose thirteen elo for one match, uh, they're not gonna hit their righty anyways. We'll grab my one, one orb, perhaps. Then they're not going to hit their gold or bronze, whatever rating, anyways. That's a very, that's a very bronze mentality. I don't, that that sounds very toxic, but like the people that are the most concerned about like the their thirteen rating are people that can't afford to lose it, and so and like, oh damn, look at her uh, and NP coming back strong, doing a fuck ton of damage. We gotta give it back to our healer. He did a good job. The people that can't afford to lose 13 ELO are the people that are hard stuck at like 1150 and just want to get their games and get their wins up to 1200. Because the people that are going to be grinding up to like 1500 realize that it's a marathon, not a sprint. And so if they're going to get their wins eventually anyways, if they're going to be grinding up that high to the point where if they lose one match, okay, that's fine. I'll win the next one. You got you got to be on the uh, you got to be on that long term grind set if you wanna if you wanna actually climb in this game.